telling me to clean the screen again. I'm like, pee off, all right. Um, so I thought I'd better come on and do a little video for you. I've only got my lippy on today. So I was about that. I was like, I'm not putting my makeup on. Lucky enough, I dyed my brows, didn't I? So they're up. I thought, I'm not putting my makeup on, all right? I'm just, I'm ill. I've got the flu. On top of all my, it's not in the bucket. On top of all my other things. So I thought, you know what? I'm going to look sexual based in my hat, all right? And I think I do. What do you reckon? I do my chest. I just had the longest suite ever. It was like Niagara Falls. And I don't know what's going on with this eyeball. I ain't winking at you. If you think it keeps going, it's twitching. I don't know why. Hey, no, no, no. Can you see? I can feel it. No, no, no. Oh, it stopped now. I'm... What's all that about? Aye, aye, Captain. But anyhow, any bloody who, Hugh. Oh, I nearly let my enemy Frupney's fr loose. The Frupney nearly come out, all right? So, yeah, I thought I'd just do me a little tack a couple of bits of my hair out the side. Like so. Whack out on a bit of lipstick. Bob Shrunkle and Fanny is your auntie, all right? No mascara on these hoodie dyes today. Oh, no, there isn't. Oh, natural. Anyway, uh, I have got a vintage haul today. Oh, I've got some bargy malagies off there, I tell you. Right, before I get on with anything, there was a little bit of confusion. Du, 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 du. Confusion. Right, so I knew that I needed to clean out my wardrobes, all right, because I've got to move. Um, I have still not heard anything. I had quite a lot of viewings, and we was told that it's been sold subject to contract. That was a few weeks ago. I haven't heard anything. I haven't phoned them. Uh, I did look at one place, but there was, which I thought was nice, but six people were looking at it on the Saturday, and they said, if it isn't gone, we'll let you know. They didn't let us know, so I gather it was gone. I did find then another place, but I thought, hmm, I'm on to you, sunshine, sunny Jim Bob. Because I was told a story similar to this before and I thought, nah, he's up to something. So there was a flat and I looked at it and it was really, really nice. Everything I wanted and it had a lift so I didn't have to worry about my cruddy knees going upstairs and all that. But here is the thing. I'll get on, I've gone off track again. I'll get back there in a minute. But here was the thing, right? He wanted the, the house fully furnished. House, flat. I'm talking about a flat. If I say a house, just don't listen, it's flat. Um to leave it fully furnished, even down to the kettle and the toaster, even down to the beds. I don't think so. When I meant to put all my stuff in storage, and I thought, I know your game, mate. I know exactly what you're up to. So I reckon what's happened is this fella has met himself a bird, hasn't he? And he's like, oh, of course, she's a bit of crumb eating out. I mean, like her. And she's gone, oi, should we give it a go? Do you want to move in? He's gone, yeah, oh, why not? Why not? I'll move in with you. Definitely, Trace, I'm coming. Obviously, I don't know if her name's Trace, but, you know, I'm just, this is just reenacting what's happened, right? So they're giving it a go. Let's just say his name's Ken. Tracy and Ken are giving it a go, all right? His name ain't Ken, but I'm just saying they're giving it a go. But then what will happen, he thinks, right, I can leave it all how it is. And then old Lily Lou's goes in, yeah. And then in six months' time, Tracy's like, I'll tell you, Sammy Ken, me and you don't see eye to eye. You need to sling your blade nook. So she wants him to sling his hook. He's like, oh, no. Well, at least I can go back home. And then he phones up the letting agents and says, get them tenants out because I need to come back home. I've got your card. I know your game. So I declined that one because apparently one of my letting agents has said it happened before to a young girl. Um, unless I heard the story oh, probably about a year and a half ago. And poor girl moved in. She just had her twins, but it was fully furnished and she'd only been there six months. And the landlord then decided he wanted his flat back. Similar thing. He'd met a girl that never worked out. He wanted to come back. So I live and learn. And I listened and I heard and I learned. And I thought, nah, mate, I know you're game. So it was a nice flat, to be honest, but 
He thinks I want to lay in these manky old beds. I'm not being funny. I know if you go on holiday or whatever, you've got to lay in the manky old beds. But I take my own stuff. I've told you this before. Nine times out of ten, I take my own stuff. And if I don't take my own stuff because it's on a plane and it's quite far away, I will put a towel on top. I will sleep on top of it. Do you think I am going to sleep somewhere where there's been spermentations, periodicals, all types of bodily fluids? I don't think so. I don't even want to sleep in my own bodily fluids, let alone someone else's. I mean, get a grip. Got your forehead, please. Anyway, so, uh, after all that, I have a bag full of clothes here. It's so big and heavy. Uh, 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 I can't even lift it, okay? It's big. It's filled to the top. Anyhow, so, I knew that I had to have a sort out, and I knew the clothes would be roughly from about an 18 to a 24, because the books is a 24, all right? But I didn't have as much as I thought I did have and to be honest some of it was you know I know I could make a tiny really little bit of dosh on it which I need I've got to get a lot of money up you know what I mean so I thought them bits and go on vinted um I thought I can't put it all on <coughs> vinted so I just managed happen to say if anyone's interested in me old clobber that I don't want hit your girl up well I didn't realize there'd be so many of you I mean it wasn't loads I mean, might have been about eight of you I don't know that wanted it and I thought well I can't there's probably not enough well, I suppose there is enough. No, well, there is enough. There is enough to split eight parcels. But then each parcel I split, there could be two in one or three or five or whatever. Each one's going to cost me then quite a bit to send off. And um, my couple of my subscribers, the ones, and this is the other thing as well. YouTube is getting right on my threepennies because it's, uh, when I say YouTube, I don't know what's going on, but my subscribers, all of a sudden, I'll get like 10, let's just say I've got 10, and then by the morning, that 10 are gone, and there's no way they're unsubscribing the same 10 that had added me the day before, so some is are going on, and then I'm getting now people saying, this is where we had the problem with this clothes, because the first, uh, oh, first message I see was from uh, one of my lovely subscribers, Linda, but then I had another one of my subscribers say, yeah, but hers was only posted on this timeline. I don't really look at the timelines and that. Uh, hers was posted at this time, but I'd done mine before, but I never see that message. Like I've always said, you know, I get back to everyone's message. So if I don't, it's because it has not come up. Please believe me. It has not come up because I would not do that. I think you lot know me well enough now. I would not do that. That is just not me to do something like that. If someone texts me, I'll bloody get back. Um, and so obviously, because so because of the confusion, then I started getting stressed. I'm like, oh my God, I don't want to upset anybody. Because um, then you start thinking, oh, I'm going to upset people. That's the last thing I want to do. I don't want to upset. I just want to make you all happy. And that's why I do this. Because you tell me, oh, you're funny. We love you. And I, I want to make you lot happy. And like I say, it does help me with my OCD and my problems while I'm doing it. Um, but I don't want to start, you know, getting stressed. And I'm a very, I'm a, you know, I have an anxiety disorder. Um, so I do get very stressed. And I started stressing. But... The ladies were beautiful and they both texted me separately and said, babe, don't stress. You know, the best thing you can do is give it away as a bundle in a competition. So that is what I'm going to do. So before I start my haul, there is a bundle here. I'm not separating it unless you say to me, don't send me any size 18s or, or 20s or whatever when you win it. And then I'll just chuck them in the charity shop. But save me sending out three, four, five, six parcels or whatever to be fair, which I just haven't really got the money, because any money I do get, I, like I said, I know I can do other things, but I do like to do my hauls and stuff, and I need that um, to go and buy bits and bobs, so at the end of the day, you know, for me to, and, but saying that, I have got a beautiful giveaway, I ordered some gorgeous stuff from Team U for you guys, um, so there'll be a giveaway coming up uh, very, very soon, it's going to be jewellery, jewellery, uh, makeup, yeah, jewellery, makeup and other rods and sods. It's all new stuff. Um, and I've still got to do my... I've got um, a real silver necklace, which I want to give away, with a Cartier ring. So I'm going to do that. But I'll do... Because the Cartier ring is a bit more on the expensive side, I'll wait till I hit a substantial amount of subscribers. Maybe let's go 1,700 or something like that. And then I'll do that giveaway. I've got a lot of giveaways coming up, in fact. All in this drawer. No, not here. In the drawer behind me. But anyway, what I was going to say is that before I start this haul, um, yeah, I won't do me facts today because I've been talking for too long, all my jokes. 
I might do a fact or fiction for you though. But anyway, what I want you to put at the end of this video, if you are interested in the clothing bundle, can you, after your comment, or if you don't want to comment and you just want the clothes, just put clothing bundle, please. That's it. Because that's what I will put in the comment picker. So clothing bundle, please. Please make sure you write what I've asked, otherwise it will not be picked up in the generator. Because before, I've noticed even before, I... Um, I've got done giveaways and it's gone like oh 30 comments and I'm like no because the last time I looked there was like 70 comments but if you don't write what I'm telling you to write and I put that into the generator it your your count is as good as nothing because it just won't pick up so clothing bundle please clothing bundle please that's all you need to write them three words is what I'll write in ah <sighs> so that's that um and again, before I get on, like I say, uh, I've got a, quite a few appointments coming up um, with my health. I don't really want to talk about one of them right now. It's another, f I nearly swore, I nearly said effing, because I'm, you know, you can get pissed off of it. I'm pissed off of it. I'm pissed off of it. I nearly swore again. Um, but uh, let's forget about me for now. I want to talk about my Eugene Poo Jean. So it's about 120 quid to a thin. Um, because he's not um time we're having to try and put a towel over him and then get his medicine like in his beak as he's trying to bite because he'll bite on the towel um i've managed a couple of doses uh, today um paul got him for me so i can't do it i just can't i said to him please you can you're gonna have to do it i know he don't want to do it either but it is what it is so you have to put the towel over him and what he'll do he'll start then trying to bite your fingers like through the towel um, and then if you sort of get him a little bit over to the side of his cage, he squawks, he's really squawking a lot. So as he's like, Rah! I will squirt in the medicine. He's got um, an antibiotic and a pain relief one. Um, I did put a bit on his apple and on his water, but he's really just, he's really not eating. I mean, I, I, I know he's really very terribly unwell. His balance is off, he keeps falling over. And when I see the state of under his wings, I, I just couldn't believe it. Um... <clears throat> but the vet was like, you're very attentive, obviously, because you noticed, and she said, not very many people would notice that. Hey, do you know, the vets were saying to me, 10 years old, and he's never been to a vet, and I was like, no, I mean, he said, I thought that was normal, I had that with my guinea pig once, a, a breeder once said, 8 years old, oh, well, I've bred all mine, and none of them have lived over 4, well, you're obviously doing something wrong then, and I'm obviously doing something right, is all I can say, it's because I know how to look after them that I think... No, I wouldn't even say that's the case. Not that I know to, it's just that I do look after them because I, I love them and I, I'm like that and I'm I'm a kind person. And I don't I don't want him in pain and I feel he's breaking my heart when I look at him. Um he's gotta go back next week, but you know, that she said to me the problem is is if this doesn't work then it can be, you know, they need to get their feces checked and they need blood tests and they need x rays and she can go into hundreds or even thousands of pounds. And I was like Give me a break. A girl needs a break. Do you know what I mean? A girl needs a break. Give me a break, please. You do good and you just get shit all the time. But anyway, ugh, that's that. Anyway, I'm going to get on with the haul now. It is a vintage haul. I've got some really good bits. Sorry if I've been jibber jabbering and moaning and groaning. And I've got to moan and groan to someone. Who else am I going to moan and groan to? Huh? It's not your bucket. It's this flow. Anyway, are you ready for this? Where's my... Oh, but actually I can read it, I don't need them Cheddar cheese is naturally orange in colour Fact or fiction? Fiction, it's naturally white The earth has four moons Fact or fiction? Fiction, it has one moon Alright And I don't want to read none of that from you Saying so no it ain't Mice don't actually like cheese. They prefer sweet things, fact or fiction. Fact, I know that's a fact because I, a little mouse, years ago in another house, called him Jerry. I don't know where he come from, but uh, I was on the loo and I see him run past my feet and eventually we caught him um, in a humane trap and I let him go in Albany Park. But, however, he liked peanut butter. Yes, he did. I called, Callie called him Jerry. She's like... Mum, can we put him in my Rupert? I said, no, we can't. It was old house. It was a really old rented house. Old house. Anyway, the first oranges weren't orange. They were red. Fact or fiction? Fiction. They were green. 
all right that's me fact or fictions i'm not gonna do me facts today because i've been going on for too long i've got to phone my mum and I've, I'm, we're having curry for dinner i probably haven't said everything i want to say because i've forgotten but there you go anyway so i've got a lovely vintage haul got some really great bits first of all i got this uh it is a brand well i say brand new it's a bit dirty but it looks like it's pretty new it's gonna go in the machine but i think it's gorgeous for summer the color it's a orange river island bag with it's got like a river island tokeny thing now river island on the side with another token i love jingly jangles who don't but i do anyway so that's the bag and that was two pounds was it two yeah it was two pounds was it three pounds no it was two pounds there you go and it's got these as well i love these <coughs> and then yeah it looks brand new to me pretty much that's the inside lovely but anyway i've got to uh, wash that i'll put all my bags in the machine just put them on hand wash and they come out amazing anyway i see these boots i know it's coming into <clears throat> i know it's coming into uh summer or meant to be but uh for three pounds you can't go wrong these were three pounds they're like a beigey gray color knee high boot what i will do I will put them on and I'll, at the end of this video you'll see both the pairs of boots on me. I'll put them on so you can see. Um, so these have got stretch on them and brand new with a little heel with gold on the back. And they look so nice on. I really like them. So, oh, come on, you can't go wrong. If none of you have been on Vinted, get your batties on there because you can get such bargains. Yeah, so they were £3 like so and then my moving child bought me something from vintage i told her not to i had them in my uh basket like no my favorites i was like well they're a bit steep anyway she found them without telling me naughty moving troll and she bought them for me but i was very happy about it anyway they were 10 pounds but i loved them i loved them so i've got ghosts in here i tell you something just fell by itself by itself fell Anyway, these are June, so I reckon they've got her being about 100 quid, maybe brand new, 80 to 100. So they're brand new, and they kind of remind me of riding boots. Real leather, 10 quid, come on, you can't go wrong. But again, I know it is coming into, as I say, into spring soon, but they're great for next year, you know. Aren't they beautiful? Aren't they just divine? Look at them. They do really remind me of riding boots. I just love them. I know. I am going to look fit when I wear them. I mean fit. So the moon's got me them. Uh, and then I see uh, this. Now I can't put it on because it ain't been washed. Sauce. Um, It's kind of like a, um, a... Do you call them a pashmina that goes around your... Um, I like anything fluffy, by the way, floofy. So you put it on, if you know what I mean, but it's uh, got frills. And I thought that had a nice over, like, you know, like a cami top, like a cami. Because it's just like a little short cardigan-y, flouncy thing. But I really love things like that. And it's originally made by Roman. And I think that was a couple of quid. But isn't it gorgeous? Oh, it's beautiful. I love it. Just got to go in the wash. Anyway, if no one's ever smelt this, the box is a bit battered, to be honest. But, you know, what's that song? What's these songs? Help me out. I'm so caught up, got me feeling it, caught up. I can't sing because I'm not well. I don't know what it is, but it seems you got me twisted. I'm so caught up. Yeah, that's Usher, all right? Well, it's Lisa, but it's Usher, right? But he had his own perfume out years ago. It's his banging. And I was sitting there and I thought, I wonder if anyone is selling any Usher on the old Vintardo. I went on there and I was like, stripped me naked. I couldn't believe it. There was a few people selling them. And there was 100ml bottles, but I couldn't afford the 100ml bottles. So I thought, I'll get this one going cheap and cheerful. Four quid. I think they still want about £30 online, I think. Don't quote me on it, I think. So it looks like that. But listen, if you are into perfume, please 
believe me, this one is, it is beaut beautiful. And Sean John as well, which is Puff Daddy. Every breath I take, every move I make. Yeah, so obviously don't listen to my singing and say I oh, sound crap and I'll do it at the moment. Oh, I'm ill. I've got excuse. Anyway, so it comes in a bottle like this, as you can see. I can't even smell it. I still can smell it. That's how strong it is. Oh, get on vintage girls and boys. See if you can get yourself a bottle of Usher. It's well worth it. Oh, if not, go online if you want to splurge. I just spat everywhere. It's so delicious. It's making me salivate. Yeah, so I got that as well. Oh, absolutely. Mwah. Anyway, so this is Bargain of the Century. Ba -ba -lum -ba 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 -ba. Yeah, it is. And the reason it is, let me just stretch out my gammy legs. Gammy legs. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Yes. That was Goldfink by Shirley Bassey, but I changed it to Gammy Legs by Lee Sillings. So, anyway, I reckon she ordered it. She was like, oh, I fancy a bit of beauty, babe, I do. And then it come through, and then she was like, oh, no, I don't fancy it. I'm going to put it all on vintage. Why would you order a box of beauty-based stuff and then not, don't, who does, who does that? But you know what? Your loss, my twitchy eye, look. California. BTS. Yes. <laughs> My game. All right. Now, she wanted £11 for it. So I thought, shall I try be cheeks? Shall I try be cheeks? So I was cheeks and I offered her quite a lot lower than that. And she thought, you cheeky cow, get out of it. So then she sent back another request. Not a request, but she said, I could have it for £8. And I thought, bog. Listen, again. Beauty, but if you write on Vinted, beauty bundles, makeup bundles, there is enough on there, let me tell you. And you are going to get some bargy wargies, all right? So anyway, I'm going to show you all what I got for said price, all right? So open the box. And there it says the B, I believe, for Beauty Bay. I didn't ask give her a good feedback. I was well happy with that. Now, a couple of these will be going into the bundle of you, for you lot. Um, oh, God, Lisa, you are such a fool. Uh, because a couple of bits in here I definitely don't want because I don't need them. So I will be put, I will be doing a, a big old box with jewellery, makeup and all that malarkey at some point. So keep your eyes peeled. Listen, if you are not subscribed to me and do watch me, please subscribe to my channel, please. Look, like and subscribe and stick your thumbs up and all that. Because I keep doing this and it's just disintegrating on me, these subscribers. It's very upsetting. Do you know what I mean? That YouTube cops. Anyway, first thing is, uh, I believe this is a... Uh, Beauty Bay, I'm not even going to open it, it's sealed, uh, lip brush, is that a lip brush? I don't want to open it because I'm going to give it away in a bundle, so anyway, that's going to be for one of you guys, that goes up there, um, and then, I mean, what's this, I will probably, I don't know, what is this? I don't know. Anyway, this is, I don't think this is a beauty bay. I think you should just put this in there. It's a coffee scrub, cinnamon coffee body scrub. I don't even know who it's by. Is it, if you could see what I can see when I look down, my belly, right? It's so far out. It's right over the food pile. Like, you can't see a thing. You can't, I can barely see my calves. I tell you, my bouquet, it is huge. Anyway, getting back to the cinnamon scrub. Cinnamon scrub, yeah. I'll be trying to use that over the bucket. Can you hear that? I can play a tune. Look, yes, my party piece. Bet you lot can't do that. Da, 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 da. Uh, uh. Oh no, don't be jealous. All you need to do is have liver problems, diabetes, cholesterol. Um, I'm just rubbing it, yeah. What else have I got on me? High blood pressure, cholesterol, diabetes, gallbladder problems, fatty liver disease, and you then can too play the drums on your belly. Either that or just go and scoff your face and get fat. Mm, you can do it, all right? Don't be jealous. You can join me. <laughs> anyway, then, um, there's three of these. 
Um, I think these might be Beauty Bay. I don't know. Yes, they are. Beauty Bay pastels. And they are different liners. All different colours. So, one, un, deux, trois. Uh, I'm not going to open them because I won't use the pastel liners. Again, these gorgeous liners will be put in uh, a bundle for you guys. And they're all pastels. I think they're pink. I think it's pink, lilac and blue. Um, yeah, pink, lilac and blue. But the beautiful packaging as well, look. But I'm not going to open them because they're for you lot. Uh, anyway, then I've got a Ren Ever Calm Gentle Cleansing Gel. I might take that to the caravan with me. Never heard of it, but for washing your boat, you know what I mean? So I've got that. <sighs> Sweating again, makes me feel so ill. Uh, and then, what's this? So this is a Beauty Bay lip liner. Which I'm sure I will keep. Oh yes. It's in a brown. Let me see it. Oh yeah. That's gorgeous. That's right up my alley. So I'll throw the box away. I don't want the box. It's going to go right into my makeup stuff. Uh, and then there is a Beauty Bay. Uh, I believe this is a brush you've got to be kidding me I'm losing my I'm losing my call with these now as I tell you um, yeah it's a brand new brush but again I don't need the brush I'm sweating uh, so I will put that again in with your bits and then I've got a Beauty Bay matte lipstick like so and it's in colour it's a beautiful colour look at this it's dark but it's like a dark ready brown Sorry if you can hear my little moons out there coughing her guts up. So that. Let me put this on. I can't take it anymore. Do you remember that song where the man was crying? I think it was called The Crying Song and I could never ever find it and I've tried to find it for years and it goes, <laughs> I can't dig it no more. Does anyone remember it? I'm just making it up. No, it definitely was a song, right? <clears throat> anyway, the reason I bought this bundle was for the next two things I want to show you uh, which is palettes palettes eyeshadow palettes the first one is called earthy earthy all right earthy so like so that's what it looks like and look at them colours. Oh my goodness. They're going to go good with my green eyeballs. How beautiful them colours. I know. I know. You're like, you got a bargain there. I know, I did. I tell you, that's for nothing. Uh, so that. So I'm putting this one side. I'm going to put it in makeup stuff in a minute. And then this one is bright. So it's all flick the air that off didn't I it's all bright colours yeah Ooh, I cannot take it no more <laughs> and comes in a very bright well bright palette and oh I tell you I it was an 80s night look at them so we've got a nice bright yellow, can mix the yellow and the pink and the purple and the orange and that's it. I'm back to the 80s mate. I'm back to the 80s. Red, red wine goes to my head. And that was UB40 
and red, red wine. Red, red wine, you make me feel so fine. You keep on rocking all of the time. Red, red. Oh no, you didn't think I could do it. Oh no, I oh, know you didn't think it, did you? But I could sell you. I'd say I'll show him and everything. <laughs> Obviously not. <laughs> I'm taking the pee. Anyway, so that's it. I'm going to take my old self away now. And do you know what? Oh, I can't get this back in. There's no point putting it back in because it's going in my makeup stuff. So yeah, so I'll use this box because it's a nice big box. So this big humongous -y box. I will be filling up with some stuff once I get some more subscribers, all right? Oh, I wish I had big boobs, but I haven't. Um, yeah, I feel so shit today. You would never, ever believe how shit I feel. You know, I said the other day, people take me for granted. They do. People take me for granted. But I think it's because I always just try and act so normal. I think maybe I should just lie on the bed and say, no, I ain't getting up like normal people would do. But no, I still get up and I do everything, cook and clean and whatever else. And people take it for granted. Not my moons, but I mean other people take it for granted. Well, you know what? I get the cups. When I did that, it just reminded me. I watched Priscilla the other night. And you know there's always two sides to a story and all that malarkey. Um, so I've seen the Elvis and then I watched Priscilla, which was directed and wrote by Priscilla Presley herself. And you know that king of rock and roll, you know, he was a little bit of a little bit of a sod sometimes, he was. To old Priscilla. He was I mean beautiful man, don't get me wrong, but he was a little bit of a sod to her. Um and he was a bit of a cheating McGreeting. He was cheat he did cheat. And apparently when she had Lisa he didn't like to do any as your father with her and all that. Yeah. But he was doing as your father with other women. I mean, I don't know. I weren't now. I'm just going on what Priscilla wrote and put in her film. So I've seen both of them now. But yeah. Oh, he was a beautiful man though, wasn't he? Elvis. The most beautiful man. But anyway. Yeah. That's it. That's all I've got to say. Oh, and I watched a film called Cold Meat. And it had the the fella in it, the actor from the four part of Too Good To Be True, which was on a My Five, I think. What would I give it out of ten? A three, probably. So, is it worth a watch? If you're drunk, maybe. There was a twist in it, though, which was quite good. But other than that, no. Anyway, listen. Uh, if this is the kind of thing you like, please hit the like. Please hit the subscribe. If you have unintentionally been unsubscribed if you wouldn't mind if you could just uh, subscribe again for me um press your notification bell yeah i'm losing the plot give me a thumbs up and all that and clothing bundle please was it clothing bundle please i think it was just write it in the comments section what i told you at the beginning now i forgot but just write what i said at the beginning because i'll go back and i'll look and that's what i'll be writing in if you're interested in this load of hand-me-downs hand me down hand me down who wants my hand me down so oh, yeah that could be a number one simon cow's gonna have me right up there with this anyway listen i love you all and uh i shall see you in my next video i'm sure of these things i forgot it's not your snows bucket need a wee need a poo need a dinner bye bye this is the first boots like so and this is the second boots the jean ones